Hey, if you like anime, you got to come join us at the Goosh, our Patreon. Link is in the description. And even if you don't like anime and you just want to support the channel, come on over and join us at the Goosh. Won't be creepy at all. Okay, guys, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you guys know I'm a huge fan of stand-up comedy. I've done stand-up myself, used to make my living doing stand-up. Uh, but big fan of stand-up comedy, big fan of Bill Burr. I know a lot of you are just from conversations we have in the live streams and stuff. This is a, a clip from um, one of Bill's performances. And I guess uh, from what, what people have been telling me, he just goes off on the whole PC culture thing. <laughs> and you guys know too how I feel about PC culture. I think it's way too far over the top. Love to see that concept of PC culture taken down a notch or two. And yeah, typically if Bill Burr wants to take something down a notch or two, he, he can usually accomplish it. I've, I've been anxious to see this. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it along with me. <laughs> Let's go watch Bill. Very prestigious arena to listen to my dick and shit jokes over the next 90 minutes. Now I'm excited to be here. I am. It's very uh, <laughs> my exciting dick and shit jokes. to be doing stand-up outside of my own country. Yeah. No, not because of you. <laughs> Don't get it. become fucking U.S. Everything's so goddamn heavy. Don't fucking get all, you tell. Well, all about you yourself. About that? A... I didn't go to the gym today. Are you calling me fat? I feel fucking triggered. There we go. I, I hate the word triggered. To everybody. This is how screwed up my country is right now. Do you, you know that? You know Brian Cranston, right? Yeah. That dude did a movie. He played a quadriplegic, and people gave him shit. <laughs> Be like, why is there an able-bodied person playing a quadriplegic? He's, he's, he's so fucking on point with this, and that the people just looking for a reason to to bitch and moan and complain. That's why it's called acting. Anyway, I know the point he's going to make, but that's why it's called acting. Doesn't matter what you want to play, you're playing a role. Oh, I it's love like, it. It's because it's called acting. Uh, well, fun. okay, there we go. <laughs> See, if he was a quadriplegic playing a quadriplegic, that's not acting. That's not <laughs> it's just fucking laying there saying shit that someone else wrote. So us, what, what did you do to get here for the role? Well, I dove head first into the shallow end of a pool when I was 23. I feel like I've been preparing for this role for my whole life. Right, what is that for you? Oh, well, they're going to do a reboot of Top Gun. Uh, I'm going to fly it under my car. Uh, the co pilot's going to be transgender. Dick will block her head from the canopy. Oh. Oh. Gender neutral bathroom on the plane. I love this fucking this. guy. I love Why him. Why did you have a murderer play a murderer? And how come the guy he shot? Oh. I saw him in another oh. movie. I mean, what the fuck is going on? So unreal. So unrealistic. Come on. Let's keep. No, I don't know what it is. Let's keep the I continuity. Know I don't know what the fuck. It's oh. going on. But I think white women started it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a break for a second. <laughs> I think white women started it. I, I think you're probably right, Bill. Seriously, he gets me laughing so hard, my freaking sides are hurting, and I can't even hear what he's saying because I can't stop laughing. Okay. <sighs> oh, it's the worst. Oh, God. It's the fucking worst. It's all they do is bitch mode and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was. To be a white woman in the United States of America. <laughs> Until they told Evidently, you. Evidently, it's, it's really difficult. <laughs> they let you know. <laughs> the Karen squad. Yeah, they're always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you today, sweetheart? Huh? Did they not chill your rosé? <laughs> yeah, right. Is the right. trolley not oh. running down at the mall? What oh. happened? Oh. No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking <laughs> balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? <laughs> so to separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. What the fuck are you <laughs> yeah, but you're fucking whining. Look, 
There's a little caveat here, so you don't think I'm a complete asshole right out of the gate. All right, if you're fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right, I can listen to you. Sure, <laughs> it happens. No, when I especially on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this guy's fucking brilliant. One of my fantasies <sighs> is I want to drive by like a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of. Just to watch him lose I could their picture minds. Him. I could picture him doing and that. And I just drive by real slow. I'm like, yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> Go bake me some cookies. Just to look in the rearview mirror watching him flipping out on the road. <laughs> spinning around like Leatherface at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> oh, God damn. Okay. I think it, we're we're not done here, right? The Burr podcast. That's not official, cause. Um. Are we serious? Is that it? Oh no! Here he is. Okay. Come on. I don't know. Times are okay. changing. Oh, yeah. what what no, the hell is that got, little interlude? I don't know. Times are changing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Michelle Obama's doing an arena tour. That's another thing going on. I'm going to say that again. Michelle Obama <laughs> is doing an arena tour. She's not playing comedy clubs. She's doing arenas. When did first ladies oh. start acting like they got elected? <laughs> you know? I, I said that in the past. In fairness, in fairness, that's not one side or the other. I've said that in the past about several of our first ladies we've had over the years. It, it just seems like some of them take the job seriously, and 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 it, you know, there is a lot of responsibility with it. And others think that they accomplished something more than they did. To be the first lady, that's not a fucking job. Just standing there, smiling and waving. Right? <laughs> Look how quiet is it in here. Why is it so fucking quiet? You think that's a job? It's not a fucking job. Dude, if you really think it's a job, just look at him. Right? Look at Obama. When that guy got elected, he looked like he was about 41 years old. When he left office, yeah. that guy looked like he was about 73. Yeah, it, right? it, it beat him up. Look at Michelle. Did that to most she looks presidents, younger but yeah. now than she did when that dude got elected. <laughs> what has she done for the last eight years? <laughs> laying a giant vat of Illuminati level lotion just sitting there floating. <laughs> a couple hours a shapeshifter comes in and dumps another bucket on her. <laughs> <laughs> she pops her head up. Hey Bam Bam, tell Stevie Wonder to come down and play some songs tonight. <laughs> what the fuck is he going? Tell Stevie <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Even when he just goes off the rails, he does it so well. Oh. <laughs> I found out she's doing a tour because uh, she's doing a book tour. Yeah, she wrote a book. She wrote a book about not having a job. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read that fucking book. Chapter one How to Know If a Dick Tastes Presidential. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. How to weed your way through all that local representative cock <laughs> and get to the big swinging dick in the room. <laughs> the big kahuna dick. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll tell you wow. right now, say what you want about Republican presidents, but they got their first ladies in oh. line. <laughs> they do. Dude, George W. was president for eight years. Eight years. I don't even know his wife's name. <laughs> Barbara. I'll help you, Bill. <laughs> was it Abigail or some shit? Maggie? No clue. <laughs> Donald Trump's wife stands behind him like a giant meerkat. Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's well described, Bill Trump was actually. His wife never shut up. Ah, I really do help here. Yeah. <laughs> he fucked around on her so much He's like, alright, whatever, just do it <laughs> Yeah but Whatever keeps you happy and keeps you the fuck out of my face but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out that fucking tour I gotta see what that's all about you know? Who opens? Who opens? <laughs> Was it Oprah Winfrey's husband? Yeah. 
<laughs> Does he fucking come out and talk about what it's like to walk her dogs? Oh. Dude, for 20 minutes a day, the carcass spaniel's probably the most fussiest, and I gotta bring him around. <laughs> Look, I'm sure that there's some uh, feminists in the crowd oh, right now, not gosh. appreciating this joke, feeling triggered, feeling like they need to fucking put out a hashtag or some shit. <laughs> and be brave and speak out. You know what? You're full of shit. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Bill. They, oh man, I'm sorry it's over. I that guy, I I just love him. He's and again, I think okay, did he go a little bit over the top on Michelle? Probably, but <laughs> in general, I just not only love his sense of humor and his, of course, his delivery is impeccable. If it weren't for Dave Chappelle, he might be my favorite current comic. But nobody replaces Dave. But that was that was just pure brilliance right there. 